Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of two-step multiplication and division problems. This is standard 4.4H in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 11 off the 2022 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we've got fourth grade classes at a school. They're making flowers. There are five classes, okay. To make each flower, four sheets of paper were used, and the classes used a total of 300 sheets. So let's start with that. So I've got, I'm gonna draw a strip diagram to kind of help us see here. So I've got 300 sheets, right? That's my total. And if I get four of these sheets, that's going to make a flower. I take four sheets uh, to make each flower. So each, each, look at all those eaches. When you see each, all of those three eaches make you think equal groups. So when we're thinking equal groups, that's going to either be multiplication or division or possibly both. So I've need four sheets of paper to make one flower how many flowers can i make out of those 300 sheets well this is how i would represent it with the strip diagram how many fours can go into 300 i don't know let's do a little division here i know my fours but i don't know my fours all the way up to 300 so i could multiply by something i just don't know how i don't know my fours past a certain point all right, so four doesn't go into three, but four does go into 30 right there. Almost eight times, not quite. So we get seven. So seven times four is 28. Remember when we're doing this uh, division here, we're just dealing with the first numbers that we can actually divide into. So we're gonna ignore that second zero for right now. 30 minus 28 is two. We check to make sure that that two is smaller than the divisor. The remainder is not, we did something wrong, but Two is smaller than our divisor, so we're good. Now we can bring down one digit at a time. There's only one digit left. Now we need to divide all over again, but look at four is going to go into 20 and even five times. Okay, so there's going to be no remainder. All right, so 75. So let me put that right there. All right, so I can make 75 flowers. So 75 flowers. Each class made the same number of flowers. So there's a total of 75 flowers being made. Each class, and I look at this, it goes right back up here. There are five classes. All right, so now I've got a second strip diagram. I've got a new total. I've got 75 flowers, and I've got five classes. And each class made the same number of flowers, so we're doing equal groups again. All right, so I need to take my 75, and I need to split it into five equal groups. So five goes into this first digit, yep, one time. That's gonna be five. Bring that down, that's two. Two is smaller than five. Okay, five, 25 goes in there five times. Hmm, so I'm thinking I'm thinking my answer is 15, but that's a lot of dividing. Uh, let's let's make sure that I did this correctly. All right, so if I've got five classes, and each class made 15 flowers, that's going to be five. Okay, so I've got 75 flowers, which is what I had right here. Okay, each flower takes four sheets, it says that right there. So each flower takes four sheets. So that's gonna be 20, 28, 30. Yeah, there's my 300 sheets right there. Okay, so I double checked my work. And so how many flowers did each fourth grade class make? Well, they made 15 uh, flowers each. My answer is B.